Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. I'm going to invite some people in here, and uh, we'll get started just in a second. I hope you're doing great this morning. We are going to do deal with Colossians 4.2. Good morning, Mom. I hope you're doing well. Colossians 4, 2 is what we're dealing with this morning. Good morning, Clifford. Colossians 4, 2 as we get ready to get this going. says this it says continue steadfastly good morning janet colossians 4 2 man what a wonderful beautiful morning that we're having so far Yes, coffee is good this morning. Colossians 4.2 says this. It says, continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. You know, as I was watching the news early this morning and seeing all that is going on, my favorite visual of this morning was seeing people kneeling down in prayer. Um, with all that is happening. I'm not going to discuss it. I'm just going to say my favorite visual was people kneeling down in prayer. And so many times people fight or protest with fists raised high and what not, I think the greatest ability as people we can uh, fight with stability on our knees in prayer. Praying for peace in our country. And really, when I thought read that this passage this morning, I was continually steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Now, do I, the end was being thankful. I'm not thankful for what happened. Those gentlemen need to be persecuted, prosecuted, persecuted, prosecuted. But, uh, but what I am saying is that we need to be prayerfully in prayer for our country. You know, we've been praying about this virus. But there is a vi virus of violence. There is a virus of, of sickness. There is a virus of... Uh, viol uh, I said it already. Just a lot of different things. And so we as believers in Christ need to have our position of prayer. Prayer for peace prayer for uh, whatever else you can add to that prayer list in, in, in our country. And, um, you know, and that's really, when I think about it, um, is m my feeling. I mean, I don't, I know, uh, I just don't feel, I, when I read this, is continually steadfastly in prayer, and that's where my position comes, is to be prayerful, to really be prayerful in, in, in all of this, in, in, in the sickness in our country, sickness in our world, that we need to be people 
kneeling, laying, standing before the Lord and just praying. You know, they call people who are able to stand in the gap in prayer for those around us to be gap standers, to be watchmen on the wall. And, you know, we are called to be that. And, and then in it with thanksgiving, as God's hand moves across to, to be that is to, to watch God's hand move. And so, however you feel, be a person of prayer. Be a person that God can use in the midst of prayer. We all have needs, so we pray. I mean, when you watch the news, it gives you enough to pray about as well, to add to your prayer list, doesn't it? And so I just think, okay, just gives me another reason to pray. And so there you go. Um, so as I think, and I read this verse, I says, continue, not stop, not take a pause, break, continue. Uh, there, in the Bible, it talks about walking in the spirit, praying in the spirit, you know, really focusing on the Lord and you know, you can pray and walk and and just focus. And I'm thinking, man, you know, as you walk and pray and, and see people in need, pray for them. And uh, watch what God does with it. So anyways, Colossians 4.2 is the verse today. So write this verse out. Colossians 4.2. Get out your notebook. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. And P, pray. And so this is where we're at. We're at prayer time. So we're going to pray for our country. We're going to pray not only for the virus, but also all for, for the violence. And... Uh, if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put those down. And uh, we're just going to believe for God to heal our land. And just believe God to move. So let's pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put those in. And we'll add those as we're praying. Lord, I thank you so much for this morning. I thank you that, Lord, that you're in control. And I thank that, Lord, that you... You hear our prayers, that Lord, that you love us so much. And I do pray, Lord God, that you heal our land. That, Lord, that you just, Lord, that you can move your hand across this land. And that, Lord, that you can heal our land of this violence and this virus, Lord God. And I pray that, Lord, that you bring an attitude of peace through this land, Lord. I pray for my dad, that you, Lord, that you heal him. That, you, Lord, that you give my mom strength. I pray for my father-in-law, that Lord, that you heal him, and Lord, that you give my mom, my mother-in-law strength, and my wife strength as well. I pray that Lord, as my wife begins to prepare to come home, Lord, that you give her traveling mercies. And Lord, I pray for today, Lord God, that you just uh, uh, give us a good day, Lord God. Help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with, Lord. And that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord. Help us to speak into somebody's life, Lord God. We just give you today, Lord. Lord, may we honor you. May we lift you up. And, Lord God, we just thank you so much. Lord, we bless you and we honor you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Have a blessed day. Love you guys.